Before diving into this chapter, let me recall some of the operations on sets like union, intersection and complement of sets. Let's consider two sets. Set A with elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and set B with elements 3, 5, 7 and 10. And the universal set U has elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. The first operation we are going to study is union. Union of these two sets is a set of all elements which are either in set A or in set B or in both. Hence, A union B is set with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 and 10. Note 6, 8 and 9 are there in universal set but not in union of A and B because these numbers are not there in either of sets. This is the graphical representation of A union B. Let's do intersection of these two sets. It is the set of all elements which are common to both A and B. Elements 3 and 5 are common among these two sets and hence intersection of these sets is set with consist 3 and 5. See the diagrammatic representation of the intersection. The dark area is the intersection part of these two sets. Let's check what is complement of sets. The complement of A is elements from universal sets which are not part of A and it is denoted as like this. This is complement of A with respect to universal set U. In this example, elements from universal set 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 are not in set A but present in universal set and hence complement of A with respect to U is a set which consists of elements 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. In the diagram, the first circle represents set A and the elements outside this circle make the complement of set A. Now, we know the basic operations on sets. Let's try to find out whether these operations obey basic arithmetic properties like commutative property, associative property and distributive property. I hope you remember these properties. If not, let's have a quick glance on this table. Let's verify if these properties hold true with sets. The first one we are going to verify is commutative property. Commutative property of union and intersection of sets. We will try to prove this using an example. Consider two sets. A and B. Set A is with elements 6, 7 and 8. Set B has elements 4, 8 and 12. We are trying to prove that union and intersection of these two sets is commutative. Let's find out union of A and B. Union of A and B is a set of all elements from set A and elements from set B. Elements from set A are 6, 7 and 8. Now take elements from set B. Elements are 4, 8 and 12. Since 8 is already present in the set, we don't put it again. Take only 4 and 12. So union of these two sets consists of elements 6, 7, 8, 4 and 12. Now find union of B and A. Union of B and A consists of elements from B. That is 4, 8 and 12. Now include elements from A. Since 8 is already there, we take 6 and 7. So union of B and A has the elements 4, 8, 12, 6 and 7. If you observe, these both sets have same elements. Hence, we can conclude that union of A and B is same as union of B and A. We have verified commutative property here. Let's find if commutative property holds true for intersection as well. Consider these same sets. First find out intersection of A and B. It is 8 because 8 is present in both the sets. If you calculate intersection of B and A, meaning is same. It is 
common element between B and A which is 8. So A intersection B and B intersection A means the same. Hence we proved commutative property of intersection of sets. We have proved A union B is equal to B union A and A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. Hence union of sets and intersection of sets is commutative in nature. Let's find out if associative property holds true with sets operations. First, let's see associative property with respect to union of sets. Let's consider three sets. Set A with elements 6, 7 and 8. Set B with elements 4, 8 and 12. Set C with elements 5 and 6. As per associative property, we are supposed to prove A union in the bracket B union C is equal to in the bracket A union B bracket complete union C. Find B union C. It is 4, 8, 12 and 5 and 6. Find union of this set with set A. 6 and 8 are already present in the set. Hence it is 4, 8, 12, 5, 6 and 7. Now let's calculate in the bracket A union B bracket complete union C. A union B is 6, 7, 8, 4 and 12. Union of this set and C is 6, 7, 8, 4, 12 and 5. If you observe both of these sets, you can see the elements are same and hence both of these sets are same. Hence the union of sets is associative. Let's see another example. This time we use Venn diagrams. These are the three sets. Set A, Set B and Set C. Set A consists of elements 2, 3, 4 and 8. And Set B consists of 4, 5, 6. And Set C consists of 6, 7 and 8. Union of A and B. Element 4 is common among these two sets. Now make union of C with this. This is Venn diagram of in the bracket A union B bracket complete union C. Now find out union of B and C. It is. Now find union with A. We get. Observe both the diagrams are same. And we have proved associative property of union using Venn diagram. We have proved associative property with unions of sets. Let's check out if the property holds good with intersection as well. As with associative property of sets union, we try to prove associative property of sets intersection using an example and then using Venn diagram. Let's consider three sets. Set A with elements 6, 7 and 8. Set B with elements 4, 8 and 12. And set C with elements 5, 6 and 8. As per associative property, we are supposed to prove A intersection in the bracket B intersection C bracket complete is equal to in the bracket A intersection B bracket complete intersection C. Intersection of B and C is 8 because 8 is the only common element between them. Now intersection of set with element 8 and set A is again 8. Hence A intersection in the bracket B intersection C bracket complete is a set with element 8. Let's find out A intersection B. Since 8 is common element among these sets, intersection is a set with element 8. Now intersection of this set and set C is 8 again because 8 is the only common element between this set and set C. So A intersection in the bracket B intersection C bracket complete and in the bracket A intersection B bracket complete intersection C is set with element A. We have proved associative property of sets intersection. Let's prove this with Venn diagram. Consider sets A, B and C. Intersection of A and B is this. Intersection with C is this. Finally, we arrived at this diagram. Now, let's find intersection of B and C. Now, intersection with A. We arrived at this diagram. 
both the diagrams provide same meaning hence we have proved associative property of sets intersection using venn diagram